We are living at the dawn of the nanomedicine age. Nanoparticles and nanodevices will soon operate as precise drug delivery systems, cancer treatment tools or tiny surgeons. Let me introduce you to the brave new world of nanotechnology in healthcare. This is Bertala Meshko and you're watching the channel of the medical future. You might remember, a few years ago, British sculptor Willard Vegan went viral with his micro-sculptures on needles. Look how small they are compared to even a common housefly. But compared to the nanometer, the basic unit of measurement in nanotechnology, these are still huge. A nanometer is a million times smaller than the length of an ant. A sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. It's basically atomic and molecular level. When I was a kid, one of my favorite TV series was a French animation, Once Upon a Time, dot dot dot, life. I found it fascinating how the creators imagined the human body as a construction where tiny cars floated through the human veins and bacteria as tiny monsters tried to attack innocent screaming lady cells while white blood cells defended the body as well-trained soldiers. Now imagine that all this could happen in real life. Nanotechnology comprises science, engineering and technology conducted at the nanoscale. And we are more advanced at it than you think. For example, researchers from the Max Planck Institute have been experimenting with exceptionally micro-sized, smaller than a millimeter robots that literally swim through your bloody fluids and could be used to deliver drugs in a highly targeted way. These scallop-like microbots are designed to swim through non-Newtonian fluids like your bloodstream around your lymphatic system or across the slippery goo on the surface of your eyeballs. And as this technology will get more advanced, it has the poss possibility to turn healthcare upside down. Let's still take a look at a few more examples how. Nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize the way we collect medical data. With nano-sized diagnostic devices throughout our bodies, we'll be able to detect chemical changes on the spot. These devices could be programmed into gathering information about certain body parts, levels of toxins and other substances and report back to medical professionals or to its hosts. In the future, it might become a reality that a nanorobot sends alerts to your smartphone about the changes it detects. This allows for detection of diseases and real-time tracking of a patient's health status. Imagine programmable nanoparticles which could help tackle the day-to-day -day miseries of chronic conditions like diabetes. For example, they could deliver insulin to initiate cell growth and regenerate tissue at a target location. They could also be programmed to bring certain substances to cells or could be injected into the bloodstream to seek out and remove damaged cells or grow new cells. The traditional method for curing cancer is chemotherapy. That's usually described as a carpet bombing of the body. In many cases it kills the cancer cell, but it has also a side effect of killing regular cells, which makes patients extremely sick and susceptible to other conditions. But programmable nanoparticles that attack cancer cells directly without damaging other tissues could mean a revolution in cancer treatment. It's more like a tomahawk precision missile. It would be an amazing addition to our arsenal against cancer. Nanotechnology has made it possible for researchers to collect in-depth data on the human brain. By using nanoscale diamond particles, the brain's activities are converted into frequencies of light that can be registered by external sensors, allowing researchers to study the brain in much greater detail. With a microscopic size of just a billionth of a millimeter, nanoparticles are able to cross the blood-brain barrier and access the brain's remote areas. They have also shown tremendous potential in being a useful alternative to diagnosing and treating neurological diseases. According to optimistic futurists, nanomedicines, like smart drugs, will lead to the prevention of illnesses, even aging, making us superhuman. But it's time for the medical community, regulators and the public to start to catch up, because the nano future is upon us.